The Benny Ford Center has a new executive director, and she's already been on the job as interim director for two years. Tessa Voss is the first woman to hold that position. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco sat down with her to learn how she plans to connect with communities still reeling from the pandemic. I'm proud to carry on that legacy. A legacy started by First Lady and addiction advocate Betty Ford in the early 80s. For Tessa Voss, her path to helping those with addiction and substance use disorders started with the loss of friends to opioids. It was one of the reasons she applied to the Hazelden Betty Ford Graduate School in 2010. It really caused me to ask myself, what can I do to give back? Where is their need and how can I help? She worked her way up all across the country with what was the Hazelden Foundation up until a 2014 merger with Betty Ford. Her career brought her to the desert in 2019. Aside from administrator, she's also serving as VP of the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation's California region. Voss takes this on as many people struggle with isolation from the pandemic and other stressors like losing a job or loved one. Those are just some of the issues. We've also seen treatment centers and community resource programs shut their doors. And so we're committed to staying open as we have through the pandemic. Another priority, reaching anyone seeking care across California through tools like increased virtual services, especially at a time when Riverside County faces an increase in overdose deaths, more than half linked to fentanyl. The easing of some COVID restrictions and more vaccinations have brought a shift. More people are accessing help. More people are back to traveling to get the care they need, which is great to see. Voss says she is reinvigorated, knowing not all cases of addiction end in overdose. Many people's stories, people find recovery and families find recovery. And that's powerful to be a part of. In Rancho Mirage, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.